This week, I got caught with my pants down. I spent Monday and Tuesday editing last week's video, and when I finished it, I got lazy, and I didn't dash as much as I should have. So here I am with only two days left in the week, and I've only made $200. See, over the last month, I've made about $500 a week on DoorDash, but I'd really like to change that. In today's climate, that buys you a bag of chips. I've had huge delivery weeks, making over $1,000, over $1,500, and my all-time high of $1,700. So on Saturday, only being 200, I was determined to make up for being a lazy bozo. But as you saw from the title, the first half of my weekend was straight from a nightmare. Normally, I would scrap the video if I had an awful day, but I think it's only fair that I also show you when things go wrong because sometimes DoorDash just sucks. I'm gonna start nice and early today at 5.45 a.m. The sun hasn't risen. As you know, I'm on Earned By Time. The haters will say I'm doing it just for content, but listen, it actually f***ing goes hard. And by goes hard, I meant hard on your car when you drive to a different county for $6. More on that later. It took me 24 minutes after starting my shift to get my first order, and it was bad. Wow, how generous. Guys, it happens, it's okay. I noticed that I was waiting around a lot more than usual. And yes, I knew DoorDash wouldn't be very busy at 6 a.m., but 20 minute gaps in between orders is unheard of for my market. Next order is this Starbucks right behind me. We're looking at nine miles. It could be worse. I'm two hours in right now. I wouldn't quite say I'm doing well. I'm at $21.56. Uh, that's not because the orders have necessarily been bad. Bro, why did I say this? My first order was $3.52 and my second order was $9 for 9.4 miles and I had to drive the whole way back. Am I paying attention? But I'm still feeling optimistic about later in the day. Just got my next offer. It's this McDonald's right here. Obviously, you can see the little M right there. M for money, mother All right, let's get in there. The next few offers that I received were okay. I mean, they all had tips, but they weren't great and I knew this. I was feeling extra stubborn about swapping off of earn by time, even though it wasn't the best mode for me to be on. I experienced the sunk cost fallacy. I was so invested into the hourly mode that I couldn't admit that I was eating shit every single time I clicked the accept button. So I kept doing it and digging myself into a bigger hole. All right, guys, my next offer is this Starbucks right here. It's going 9.4 miles away. So this is about a 20 minute drive and it took me 10 minutes to get here. I'm interested to see how much this one's gonna pay. This is a far drive, I'm not gonna lie. I ended up waiting behind this train forever. In fact, I waited so long that I could tell you about today's sponsor, Rocket Money. And by the time I'm done, I'm still gonna be waiting behind that train. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and manage your money better. You are probably paying for subscription services that you don't use anymore. I say this because Rocket Money helped me find like four subscription services I didn't even know I was still paying for, and they helped me easily cancel. Ironically, one of them was DoorDash's Dash Pass. But Rocket Money helped me cancel that subscription faster than a $2 order. I also love that I can set a budget in this app and see the breakdown of all my investments and my bills in one place. This app is a game changer for personal finance. Listen, I don't promote a company unless I actually really like their product, and that's never been the case more than with Rocket Money. I've been a member since 2022. Five million other people are members. What are you waiting for? Go to rocketmoney.com nugs or click the link in the description to get started today for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. Again, that's rocketmoney.com nugs to get started for free. Bro, I thought for sure I could make that. I was like, five seconds too late. As I've said many times while being stuck behind this same exact train, I'm not mad because I am getting paid for this wait. While I was getting paid more for this order, it ultimately did not matter because after driving forever into some forested secluded house in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's go ahead and see. And are you, bro, are you kidding me? Sometimes you just gotta laugh. Really, you just gotta laugh about it and move on. It is what it is. This order paid me $10.39, took over an hour total, and I drove 25 fucking miles. Then, after making a full 20 minute drive back into my zone, because I'm a good boy who is not getting deactivated again, I got sent this order. 
14 fucking miles. I can't, dude. I cannot take that. So I declined it. And then I got a stack offer. Um, really generous tips on that stack offer there, but it was $9 for only a few miles. So that one wasn't too bad. But remember, you only get one decline per hour on earn by time. I already used it on the 14 mile chicken order. So when DoorDash sent me an 11 mile order, just like 20 minutes later, I either took it or I ended my dash. I should have just ended my dash, but for some reason I didn't. What would an order going 11 miles from the restaurant have to pay to be considered good? $20, $25. Well, if you said $11, this order was fucking awesome. Given that I had to drive the entire way back and this order took an hour, it wasn't awesome. That was sarcasm. I waited another 15 minutes after this for my next offer. Finally, something good. It was a Chipotle order going six miles and it paid me $10. I got stuck behind the train again on the way back and this order also took nearly an hour round trip. At this point, I kind of wanted to die. But finally, guys, I got an order that wasn't going 12 miles, so I accepted it. I waited a bit at the store, maybe 10 minutes, but with such a short distance delivery... All right, the optimism is gone. I tried being hopeful. This shift was fucking awful. I made $112.42 in eight hours and I drove 162 miles. What is this? 1980? I'm gonna skip all the boring expenses because every single person watching this video knows that that is bad. But after gas, maintenance, and taxes, I made less than $10 an hour in profit. At this point, I think Wendy's would pay me more. Should I go back to Wendy's? So what do you do when you work eight hours and take home $79? You might consider making an OnlyFans. You might consider moving back in with your parents. Or if you're like me, you'll just cut your losses, stop using Earn by Time, and turn on all the other food delivery apps. Yesterday during the morning was absolutely terrible. However, this morning I'm starting my dash again. It's 5.50 a.m. and for some reason earn by time is locked. Maybe that's in my best interest, so I am going to switch to earn per offer. My first offer was $2, no tip. Of course, I'm not going to take that. And my second offer was $4.27. Um, this is a really quick drive, so I am going to accept this. I'm a little salty from yesterday, but I'm not gonna try to, I'm gonna try not to let that affect my day today. I just want to make good money today. After yesterday, I deserve it, bro. All right, we're gonna do this order. Correct me if I'm wrong, I've only done maybe three catering orders in my entire DoorDash career, but is the base pay on a catering order not $8? Like, I, I just thought that was the flat rate, so I don't know if these are higher, if this is just gonna be a really bad catering order that I just took, I have no idea. I'm gonna learn, basically. If you remember, when the new Platinum Rewards came to my market like two weeks ago, I joined the large order program, and this was really my first shift on Earn Per Offer after joining, and I got a catering order. After waiting 30 minutes at this restaurant, I got this monster $600 catering order in my car. Holy shit. Uh, the actual delivery went really smooth. It was going to a graduation party. Congrats, whatever her name was. But after the tip, I would say the order was worth it. Catering order took about one hour from start to finish and he tipped me $20 in cash. So 28 bucks, I'll take it. And I just got my next offer. And after this, I stayed busy for the next several hours. I didn't get as much footage on this shift as I was really locked in trying to make this bag. And I did. I made just shy of $160 in six hours. This week I made $518.70 in 26 hours. As I said at the start of this video, the $500 weeks are kind of lame. Nugs is back, so we need to run these numbers up. This Saturday I'm filming a 16 hour DoorDash video similar to the one I did about a week ago, but this one will be on earn per offer, and that way we can get a direct comparison 16 hours on earn by time versus 16 hours on earn per offer. And in that last video I did where I did exclusively earn by time, I said if we got 2,000 likes on the video that I would do a 24 hour edition. I, I didn't think that would happen. You guys are crazy. Do you hate me? So I am going to be doing that video. Expect to see that in June. This is one of those MTV do not try at home disclaimers. I'm going to do this safely with backup and I will go home if I am too tired. The last thing I want is someone to try to replicate it or beat Nugs to the chase with a 24 hour video and doing something very stupid, maybe running over a few elderly oh people. Life. That would really suck. So don't do that. That's my disclaimer. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Dash on.